Welcome back fuckers. All right, today we're gonna quickly run through how to use the harm missile, the high-speed anti-radiation missile, or the AGM-88C. So you're gonna bring up your uh, aircraft loadout, can be fitted to outboard and inboard pylons on the Hornet. You're gonna go to air to ground missile, and then our missile we want is that one there, AGM air to ground missile-88C. That is our high-speed anti-radiation missile. And that is them. We've got four of them fitted to the jet. Copy. Okay, so on the inboard and outboard pylons on both, that is all we got to do. All right, so once it's fitted to the jet, we will run through how to set up and employ them in a jiffy with this power of mission editing or video editing, I should say. So I'll see you in the air in a second. Righto, we're in the jet. We are airborne and we're pushing in on target to find a couple of SA-15s we put in the mission editor. So we've got four harms on board and we're gonna go through how to select those. So we're gonna go to master arm to arm, select air to ground mode, and you're gonna go to arm missile, box that. Because we're doing a uh, SAM strike, all right, uh, or taking out SAMs, I like to, I'm not saying you have to, but I like to put my RWR on one of the MFDs so I can see if they are launching at me, I can see where the missile's coming from and go ahead and notch those bad boys. I'm gonna go ahead and hit active pause now because we've gotten a contact popping up. So, with the harm missile, we've got a couple options once you get it good to go. So you've got SP for self-protection mode and you've got TOO for target opportunities. So we're gonna go through TOO mode. There's a little bit more options to take out targets. So you go ahead and select that. And we've got some symbology coming up. First one, we've got our SA-15, so we're on station 8, which is that guy right there. Okay, so this missile is the one that's going to fire. And we've got a SA-15 showing up. Okay, or a 15 ground radar signature, which is an SA-15. Couple of things you can do to make your life easier. If you're in a multiplayer mission or a mission with heaps of uh, ground, radar con or ground radar signatures, friendlies the whole lot you don't know which one to kind of go for you can go to class here come down on to the left and you're going to box hostile hos for hostile and then that will tell the harm to only display hostile radar contacts all right so we can definitely guarantee that that 15 is an sa15 backed up by the actual rwr there and we're good to fire right we can fire not quite yet, so we're going to go ahead and hit active pause off. All right, and there we go. We've got the next thing. So now there's actually two SA-15s. So how do, say I want to go for this guy instead of that guy. How do I cycle between the two? Easy. So we're going to go to our adjust controls. You need to make sure you've got raid slash FLIR FOV select button bound to something. And when you do that, you also need to make sure that your harm seeker head is soy. So we're going to press sensor select left because we want to make our left MFD our center of interest. Get the diamond there. If you don't have the diamond, this won't work. Okay, raid FLIR FOV will not work. So now I've got the diamond there. I'm going to go ahead and press that button, raid slash FLIR FOV. And it cycles between every single contact that is on your harm page, on the harm display. It will cycle through. So we're going to go this guy here. This is the one we want. I'm going to take him out. So we've got him. It says harm. We can fire, right? And remember, fire button or how to fire a missile is weapon release, not gun trigger. Second detent, it is weapon release. So the same button you'd use to drop a bomb. Okay, because it's actually an air to ground weapon. So you use the weapon release. Even though it's a missile, don't fall into that trap because I have as well. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and go active pause off. Cruise on in. And we've got our target selected there. You can see the box, it's good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and press weapon release. And big fat nothing. Pressing it, nothing's happening. So what is going on with that? I will show you right now. Let's pause again so I don't get too close. So once you have designated which target or selected which target you want, you need to press cage slash uncage button to actually designate the said uh, radar contact for the harm to go after. So we're going to press that now, cage slash uncage button. And when that does, okay, a couple of things happen. So all of the other radar contacts will disappear off of the, the harm display. 
and it'll say h dash off which i mean i think it means handoff but i've got no idea either way you need h dash off and you can see that harm goes from being a crossed out box all right to being uncrossed and it says ready and we've got h dash off so now this missile is good to fire all right so let's go ahead we're gonna shoot at this guy and the brevity term when you fire a harm missile is magnum so when you fire over comms you're supposed to say magnum all right now we're going to cycle to the other guy designate him magnum and we'll cycle back we'll just fire two on each magnum magnum so we got four missiles inbound so off they go doing their thing Let's put ourselves in a bit of a climb and we'll have a look. Watch these missiles do their work. Get my own baby. First one is happening. Bam, bam. that one dead and where's the other guy over there a couple of smoking wrecks tour 9a331 destroyed so just go over and confirm guy is all kinds of wreck confirm that the sa-15s are definitely taken out and no longer emitting radar job done seed mission complete and we can RTB for cocktails and debrief. So that's how you do it, guys. Arms 101. Pretty straightforward stuff. A uh, couple other things of note. The higher and faster you are, the more range you're going to have. But generally, you don't want to be launching these things. I think they can get out to like 80, mile, 80 miles on a uh, SAM site. You can get if you're up at super high altitude going really fast. Uh, but generally, I like to use the rule of... Uh, I wait till at least I can see him on my RWR contacts uh, and I wait for him to at least fire a missile at me. So if I'm within their threat range that they can actually fire a missile, I'm going to fire a harm straight back and then go defensive. That way I know that he's targeting me, he's locking me up, he's going to keep his radar on and he's going to give my harm the best chance of hitting. Righto boys, I hope that helped. I'll catch you guys on the next one. See you.